This is a simulation you can use to explore the force interactions and energy transfers involved in a system that is similar to the physical marble system you worked with in class. One important difference in the simulation is that there are no friction forces between the particles and the track. The lack of friction forces better represents what is happening between bonded atoms and freely moving particles in a chemical reaction. The track in the simulation now only provides a way to keep the marbles moving along the same path across every simulation run. Before running the model, you will need to initialize it by clicking the Setup Reset button. When you do this, a series of arrows appear around the blue marble A located below the track. The arrows provide a way to visualize the forces in the magnetic field produced by particle A. The direction of each arrow indicates which way the forces from particle A would act on particle B, which is modeled as a steel marble, if it was at that point in space. Since particle B, B starts right above the magnetic marble A, the forces acting on it right now are shown pointing downward at that point in space. The size of these arrows represent the relative strength of the forces at that point in space. When the forces get really weak, farther away from particle A, the arrows may no longer be visible. We could also use a similar representation to visualize electric forces due to interactions between charged particles. The strength versus distance relationship for electric forces follows Coulomb's law, and the strength for magnetic forces follows a similar relationship, which gets weaker with distance but never reaches zero. If the arrows are distracting, you can turn this switch off and press Setup Reset again. You can use this slider to adjust the speed of the glass marble, which will enter into the system from the left side of the screen when you press the Go Pause button. Press Go Pause to momentarily pause the simulation so you can expect it more closely. This top graph will help you keep track of the kinetic energy of the glass marble, represented as particle one, as it moves through the system separate from the kinetic energy of particle B. Below this is a graph of the total kinetic energy of all the particles in the simulation added together. The bottom graph will help you keep track of the energy stored in the field between particle B and particle A. As you figured out in the lightning unit, changing the distance between two charges can transfer energy into and out of the field in the space around them. The same is true for changing the distance between any two objects attracted to each other by magnetic forces. Use the Go Pause button to resume the simulation model to see what happens next. You can then change the initial speed for particle one and run the simulation again to compare outcomes for different amounts of kinetic energy. By default, the model will automatically stop when the time reaches 200. You can change the auto stop value when, if you want the simulation to automatically stop when it meets a different condition.